Hello everyone, this is Tom Nook. It's 9.37 a.m. this happy Friday, January 21st, 2022. I can't say I have much in the way of news to report to you today. Snowy days like this, like today, do chill you right to the core. But the sight of snowflakes dancing in the breeze is pleasant to behold. If you haven't already done so, get out there with a net and try to gently swoop them up. Ah! What's going on? I sent a snowflake wreath recipe to all you DIY f recipe fans. Yes, yes. It's a simple recipe that requires only snowflakes, so I do hope you give it a try. Well, thank you. Hey, look! I'm actually in a house now! Huh, that's so cool! Let's see how big it is. Ah... Congratulations on the construction of your new home. Here are a few tips for comfortable living. Mm-hmm. Turn lights on or off. Enter decorating mode. Oh, alright. So I can use the D-pad to do all sorts of things. Hey, looky here. I got mail. Happy Home Academy. Congrats on your new home. Greetings from our Happy Home Academy. Our goal, we want to help you make your home the best that it can be. Look for more messages from us as you hone your home decorating skills. A housewarming gift is attached. Alright. What can this gift cup possibly be? A wooden low table. Alright. It's better to learn how to decorate stuff. Hello there, Tommy. Roboy! Congratulations on your new home! A home is sure to open up so many new possibilities for you. You'll be wanting stylish furniture for your home, which you could always craft as DIY projects, but... I recommend you check into the offerings from Nook Shopping. It does take a bit of time to get your order delivered, but they have a daily rotating so selection of goods. That includes fashionable things that can be hard to get on an island. You can check out Nook Shopping at the Nook Stop in residence service, give it a try. Oh, okay. I mean, I am gonna go shop anyway, so let's see what we got here. Oh, hey, you guys are shouting. <laughs> so, you see, since the numbers of homeowners is increasing, I agree that we need to build a shop. However, when it comes to building supplies, our customers' homes should take priority. I have every confidence that you'll find a way to handle this little puzzle. The two of you have been training under me for how many years? Now, uh, hmm. This should be a piece of cake. Well, hello there, Roboy. Are you happy with your home? Is it meeting your expectations? Well, I like the house, so I'm, I'm guessing it does. I bet you'll be a lot more comfortable now. Houses are so different from tents, hmm? You can freely change up the flooring and wallpaper. And you've got some built-in storage, so you can put away any furniture you aren't using. Oh, that's good. Oh, yes. There's more. What else can there possibly be? 
all homeowners are automatically registered with the Happy Home Academy. The HA, the HHA, as we call it, will evaluate your home on a regular basis and send you helpful advice. They even send in rewards to members whose homes act achieves high ratings. Their evaluations won't intrude on your day-to-day -day life, so there's no need to worry. Just enjoy the fun. Which brings us to... Your home, your new home loans. That'll be 98 bells, please. 98,000 bells, please. Yeah, um, dude, no offense, but I actually need to do a whole lot of digging if I want to get that amount. So sorry to break your happiness bubble, um, your happiness bubble, my dude. I can't. Can I pay in miles, actually? Oh, I'm sorry. That was a special offer that only applied to your initial getaway package fee. You'll have to make loan payments with bells now. Oh, shit. Ah, but don't worry. You can pay in installments, big or small. Payments can be made using the ABD feature on the Nook Stop. I think that's everything I need to tell you about homes today. But I do have a nice surprise for you. I do hope you're ready for this. It's a premium miles redemption item. A Nook Miles ticket. Hmm. A Nook Miles ticket. A Nook Miles ticket is a special travel voucher you can only get by redeeming Nook Miles. It's a conundrum room, hmm? We want to improve your island, but still hold on to that deserted island magic. Well, now you can do both. You can use this, you can use one of those tickets to do some island hopping adventuring. Yes, yes. Go anytime you want. Maybe you're looking to meet some new characters or gather materials for DIY projects. Your trip is yours to enjoy in the way you like. I left your ticket at the counter in the airport, so use it whenever the travel mood strikes. Now then, go enjoy life in your freshly built home, indeed. Alrighty. Well, thanks for the new information, my dude. Let's see what I can do today. Congratulations on your new home. I have something I would like to chat about if you have a moment to like that is. It is a bit of a proposal, so I so if now not a good time, I understand. Completely no pressure. Uh sure. Very good. I'll get right to the point. I'm hoping that you might be interested in collaborating on a new venture building, a new shop. After all, our little friend's community is growing and our needs are growing too. I'd love to offer a much wider inventory of goods, but as you can see, I am a bit limited in here. I've already spoken with our fearless leader, of course, and he agrees that we have a need. Ah, but there's a thing. There's a thing. Building materials are hard to get, so can we set them aside for building a shop? I really don't see it since we need those materials for residential projects, but I have an idea. Yes, yes, you could gather up materials from around the island, right? From the trees and rocks? Our environmental reviews even suggest that there will be zero impact to native flora or, or uh, fauna. Ah, but I'm getting off track. We'll need a lot of materials for a proper shop, and we will, of course, offer com 
compensation for your efforts. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Now, I know this is a lot, but I put together a list of items I'd like you to gather. Well, need 30 pieces of regular wood, hardwood, and softwood. And 30 iron nuggets. Ooh, 30 iron nuggets. Now that's a lot, you know. <laughs> I'm not concerned about where these materials come from. They could come from this island or any other. And you can gather those materials at your own pace. Once you have a set of something, come see me. I could totally do that. I mean, I threw a away a lot of wood yesterday, so I might as well get him back. What's up, bro boy? Hey, I heard you're gathering stuff together to build us a shop. Good hustle, bro boy. I found something that might help things along. Here you go. Oh, thank you. I was gonna make those iron nuggets into some free weight. <laughs> of course you would, dude. But having a shop sounds way cooler. The faster we get a shop, the faster I can just buy free weight. Go team. Robo Island shredded. <laughs> Yo. Here's some money I can dig up. Hopefully my shovel doesn't break. Yeah, there we go. Got some sweet moolah. See, I'm telling you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my shit all together. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Now, how much iron we got? We got five, and we need like a total of what, thirty of them? Sounds like an impossible task, but we could probably do it if we explored the island. Fossils to show off. Here you go. Ooh! More than one, I see. Let me take a closer look, shall we? Ooh, ooh, ooh! Those are rare fossils, each and every one, and have not appeared in our collection. I say, you have quite the knack for finding valuable fossils. I'm terribly jealous. I only hope I had I can convince you to donate these and help expand our little museum. In the meantime, I shall return them to you. But I do think on what I said. <laughs> upon a well-preserved Dimestrone skull. Dear me, might I give you a short presentation on the topic? I am quite knowledgeable, you know. 
Wonderful! Just fascinating stuff, I assure you. Now, where to begin? Ah, uh, yes, Dimstone's not actually a dinosaur, despite the, what some people may tell you. This reptile, not dinosaur, is most famous for the large cell-like organ on this back. Said organ was likely useful in regulating its non-dinosaur body temperature. Reptiles are known to be cold-blooded, but there is some debate as if, as to whether dinosaurs were too. Dimstrand certainly was, and that is what I have to say about that. Any hoot. I will gladly accept your generous donations. I only hope we can find what remains of the fossils and display it in the full assembled form. Many thanks to you, the best of your luck. Hmm. I do believe this means... Yes! Huzzah! Hooray! We have acquired the number of specimens required. At last, we can submit our application to build a proper museum oh oh my i will i must make hassle and prepare for the museum's opening there's so much to do Hootie -hoo. thank you so much roboy hold on i still got one more thing to show you museum construction is about to begin and to us i cannot accept new donations at this time however requests for fossils at percentiles are still most welcome Okay, here. Elias, for having to no unknown fossils for me to inspect. Not to worry, you can bring me a fossil any old time. Hoo hoo! A bit of fossil humor there. Might I help you with anything else? I'm fine. I cannot offer such in a way of hospitality, but do make yourself comfortable. <laughs> 